Good morning, everybody. This is Karen. I'm going to show you a couple of things using Cricut Craft Room. These will be layering and sizing your layers and then hiding the contour. So I'm going to use the fast food cartridge to create a soda image, a soda cut. And I'm going to show you, first of all, how to find the cartridge that you're looking for. This is actually a cartridge I don't own. It's called Fast Food. And I have my cartridges displayed by default. So if I wanted to display all cartridges, I would click this drop down arrow and choose all cartridges from the list here. And then I just need to find Fast Food. You'll notice that some of these are in bold and some are not. The ones that are in bold are cartridges I own. So you see, I don't own that many. Okay, so now let's see, fast food and it will not be bold. Here it is. The image that I want to work with is this soda image over here. And there are four cuts to this that you can see from the trifold image that I'm showing in the picture in picture. I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit so I can see my screen, or I should say so I can see my mat. I'm going to click this image first and it brings it in at a size of 1.5 inches wide and 2.5 inches high. So if 2.5 inches high is tall enough for what you're doing, that's fine. But just for this example, I'm going to make this a 5 inch cut. So all I need to do is type 5 into the height field, press enter and that changes the size of my image to five inches. I'm going to add another layer so that I can add the next cut in a different color. It will show differently. So my next cut will be on the shift key. So I'll click show shift lock images right down here. The next image is called soda hyphen S. And don't worry about the size because I'm going to fix all of that very soon. Next, I'm going to click the layer button up here and I'm going to bring in this image, but I want to put that on an individual layer as well. So I'll click that and you'll see it's down here. So if I move this down, you'll see that that's been added over here. Then I'll go back to my images. Bring this back up so I can see a little bit better and I'll create my last layer for my straw over here, which is on the shift key. Now I can close my drawer. So my straw is over here. Now remember that this was five inches, so I need to change the size of all of these to five inches. I'm gonna select all of them, type in the number five and press enter. So now they're all resized to five inches. It doesn't matter that they're on separate layers. If the eye is enabled and you select all of your images, you can resize them all together at the same time. So the reason that I have different colors is so that you can see what the different layers are going to look like once you cut them out. And you can place them in different areas of your mat so that you can put different colors different colors of paper on those areas on your mat. Let's have a look again at what the image is supposed to look like. I want to have a look at how they put it together. And so to find the handbook, I have typed Cricut fast food cartridge in my Google search bar. And I'm going to click this link over here, which is the Cricut shop. And from here, I can choose click here to read the product details and I can see a lookbook which shows me various images. So this is the image right over here. I'm circling it here. So it's got a cream colored lid and belly bar, whatever you want to call that. Um, and then the cup itself is green the inner part of the cup is a tan color and the straw is red. So I'm going to do those the same way to show you how that's done. So back in Cricut Craft Room, I'm going to change the colors of my label of my layers. 
As you can see, the easiest to figure out so far, if we go back to the image, you'll see that that portion is cream colored. So in Cricut Craft Room, I'm going to change the color of this layer by clicking the red layer color button. And I'm going to go to brown and then try to get a cream color. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Let's make it a tan color. Um, and I'm going to apply that. So there's my cream color, supposedly. Then the next part, this will end up sitting on here. And then the straw will end up sitting up here. And all of this together, whoops, not all of that, this part will end up sitting over here. So the red part is what's showing as 10 over here. This little portion over here. So I'm going to make that, that red part a little bit of a darker brown. Not dark dark, but darker than what we've got right now for the 10. Bring it in there and apply that. So now you can see that that's a tan color. So go back to the image. The straw is red. So I'm going to change the green to red. And then the last part in the image is the green part. And that is what is orange over here. So the orange I'm going to change to green. And we're all set, except that it looks a little bit off. Let's see. I'm going to ungroup those. Well, they weren't grouped, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Bring it like this. Okay, that's it. That's going to work just fine. You can go back to the image over here, and you can see that's how they've got it looking a little bit different here. It's a little bit taller in this portion, but that is how this works out. So now I can move all of these around so that I can cut my tan, my darker brown piece here, my lighter tan piece over here. I'm going to move my green cup down to here, and I'm going to move my straw over to here. So what I can do now is I can take pieces of paper that are going to fit in these squares, which are six by six, Put them on my paper and then when I cut this out they'll all cut fine. So now you don't have to cut this as a darker brown and a tan and a green and a red. You can choose whatever colors you want. I was only doing that so that you can see how the different layers work together. So you know if you want this part of the cup to be purple then you you can change the color here if you want to see it but you don't have to because you're going to be cutting this from paper. So what you do is you just put purple paper here. But what is an advantage to changing the color on your screen is that it will remind you or what color you wanted to put on your mat. So that's all there is to it. Now I can't cut this because I don't have the image. But that explains how you would layer your pieces, how you would resize them. The next thing I'm going to explain to you is how to hide a contour, which is how to cut how to hide a cutting line. All you need to do is select your image click hide contour and then as you move your mouse over the image the different cutting lines are going to be displayed in red whatever you want to hide for example I'm going to hide this part so that that doesn't cut as well as this part and this and you see that they're now a lighter gray this is still black when I move my mouse away and so is this so then I click exit and you'll see those lines are no longer showing up if you change your mind, go back to Hide Contour and click on them again. That will re-display and recut your those lines. Try it on another one. Let's say that you only wanted to cut the rim of this, or if you wanted to do different colors, this is how you would do that. I'm going to move it down so you can see better. I will go and click Hide Contour. And for now, I just want the rim. I want the rim one color and I want this piece a different color. So I'm going to hide the contour and click exit. So now this is only going to cut my rim. To create the other part of this, I need to create a new layer and I'm going to leave it at turquoise because that's fine. It's just a different color. Go back to my images, 
make sure I have my new layer selected, choose the image, and that will have brought that in over here. And then to resize it, I'm going to bring it over the other part, drag it out, and then check to make sure that it's the same size. It's just off by the tiniest little bit there. So now I know it's the same size. I'll click Hide Contour. And this time I'm going to hide this line and this line, and then I'll click Exit. And now I've got this part in a different color. And there you go. So again, I can't cut this because I don't own this cartridge, but uh, this explains how you would do these layers, resize them, and how to hide a contour. Hope that's been helpful to you. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching.